Hello, folks. And perhaps any fellow YouTubers. Uh, I'd like to go into a little detail if I can if I may on the, my last video uh, called New Escapement That Works for the Two Stage Oscillator. Uh, I don't know if anybody read, if you've been reading the uh, description underneath it, but uh, that uh, pendulum, it was not a two stage oscillator, just a straight pendulum. And I'm working on trying to build an escapement that will run the pendulum with weights. Once I can do that successfully, then I'm going to uh, build a two stage oscillator using those escapements. Uh, just so everybody will know, that machine had absolutely no bearings whatsoever. It was loaded, I mean loaded to the hilt with friction. And I knew this, knowing that if I could get it to run, period, just run, how much improvement could I do to it and get it to run how much better? Well, it, the pendulum itself was pivoting on holes drilled through a piece of 1 8 inch uh, flat bar steel, 2 inch wide, just pivoting on this, a 5 8 bolt. Well, since then, <coughs> I've put bearings in it. To raise it, the pendulum itself weighed 22 pounds. To raise it from bottom dead center to the center, 7 inches higher, and turn it loose, it ran for 70 swings, 70 cycles. It'd go out and back, out and back. That's a cycle. It ran 70 cycles. <coughs> put the bearings in, and raise it the same seven inches and turn it loose and it ran for 462 four, yeah 462 times that's uh i divided it out and that's exactly seven and a half times more swing or seven and a half times less friction there now the driving mechanism was Nothing more, I don't know if you can see that, nothing more than a skill saw carbide tooth blade that I used my plasma torch to cut out and you can see it, it was my first cup time using a plasma torch so pretty, pretty dang on rough. But the, the points on this thing are so sharp and I actually had it hooking, it was a piece of steel, whoops there's my hand, this piece of steel here and a piece of steel there and the blade would hook on it right there. It took two pounds, eight ounces of force to lift that enough to let it come by and catch the next tooth. Two pounds, eight ounces for a distance of about a half an inch. Well, actually about a quarter. Okay? So that wasted energy there. The cable, I didn't even think. It didn't dawn on me. It's plastic coated. And where it was running over the edge of the, uh, the metal, the more weight you put on it, the more friction the plastic has against the steel. Uh, since the last one, I've had a little more practice with my plasma torch, and I'm getting a little better, as you can see. This is our new wheel. This has rollers. Okay, the rollers are exactly one inch in diameter. This piece of metal is three quarters of an inch. Consequently, it'll hold it back, and it takes almost no effort. Whoops. It'll hold it back. It takes almost no effort to hold it to uh, move it because it is a roller. And once it gets past the center point of the bolt, it will it itself will raise this up. And we're going to make this the catch a lot lighter as well. Uh, I'm kind of hoping these work. Uh, I'm wondering how I'm going to put bearings or where I'm going to get the bearings from and how I'm going to mount the bearings in here. If anybody got any suggestions, I would appreciate it. Uh, I'm looking for all the help I can get. Again, not money. Uh, one of my videos I was, sounded like a smart ass when I said I had gobs of money. Well, at that time, I did have a little bit of money. But that was three years ago and three heart attacks. I now got a medical bill that looks like the national debt. But anyway, I still am not asking for any donations of any kind or money of any kind. But anybody that wants to give me advice for help or contribute uh, material, uh, no problem. 
I'll accept all the help I can get. Please don't send money. I'm not doing this for money. I'm doing this for mankind. Uh, I guess that's about it. Do you any ideas on what kind of, where to get, and how to mount the bearings in the center of this? I would appreciate it. Oh, uh, by the way, we had such great success. The uh, driving weight for the last pendulum well, in the uh, jar, or the jug, was 13 pounds, 10 ounces. Uh, if we tried to do the math on the number of uh, seven and a half to one uh, difference in the power needed to keep the pendulum going, then this drops us way down. Then we reduce uh, the friction in this, in, in the star wheel, and in the catch mechanism as well. I'm really and truly thinking that we can drive this pendulum with less than two pounds moving every two inches, uh, four inch pounds in other words. I'm, I'm absolutely positive of that. Uh, on, in the light of what we've discovered from this last video that we made and uh, things we've done since then, then I'm pulling all the punches, and, or rather I'm not going to pull any punches. We're going whole hog on a new model. We're going to uh, build a whole entire new machine, this time with a lot more finesse, uh, a lot more uh, attention to detail. Uh, we're going to build it in my shop. I'm uh, getting too old to be working out there in the sun and the cold and the heat. So I've got air conditioning in here and it's all insulated. I have uh, a gas heater hanging on the wall and uh, all of my equipment's in here. And the next one we build, I'm going to build it long enough that it, that it we'll build it low enough and narrow enough to get out my door. But I'm going to build it long enough that once we get it going and get, get everything right, I can take it outside, jack it up in the air, and put a longer pendulum on it. Uh, in here, I think about the best I'm going to be able to do is about six feet because I've only got a, a eight foot roof, but uh, my door is up only seven foot. So anyway, uh, if anybody would uh, like to see videos of the actual building of it, uh, I would be more than happy to make videos. I'm going to make videos of us building it anyway. But uh, I didn't want to put them on YouTube unless somebody just actually wants to see it. Uh, we're going to redesign our pendulum. We're going to uh, make it more aerodynamic. And in that, uh, I think we're going to build it similar to like a double-bladed axe. And uh, we're going to build it hollow so that we can handle it, get uh, the mechanisms to drive it and so forth. And then later, I have a couple of tons of steel shot that they use for like sandblasting. Uh, we're going to fill it with that and see how, how the weight affects it and then eventually when we move it outside we will take the lead shot out and melt and uh, pour it full of lead. Uh, I'm hoping that I'm going to build it in, uh, large enough that once it's full of lead it will weigh a minimum of 660 pounds, hopefully get it close to 7. According to all my calculations I've done in the past, uh, 660 pounds swinging at 2 meters at 90 degrees will generate one-tenth of a horsepower. And uh, oh, I've been working on, uh, a, it's a kind of like a Beckett situation, but a double Beckett, so that the pendulum, the two-stage oscillator, can power up and it can power down. It can only take, if, if for example, if it can pick up 50 pounds, and that's it six inches, then it can be set with a double becket system on a, on a chain to pull the chain up with a 25 pound force and pull the chain down on the other side with a 25 pound force, giving a much smoother operation for turning a generator. Okay, uh, I'm still brainstorming on the uh, double becket situation, but I've pretty much got it designed. Uh, I'm not much of a drawer, so I can't draw you pictures of it. I'd like to do is just describe it. Well, I think it's still just about do it for now. Uh, we're having a lot of fun messing with this. And uh, by the way, it ain't free. <laughs> the energy 
these free. There ain't no such thing as unfree energy. All energy is free. It's the damn machines you build to convert that energy into usable energy. That's what costs money. The wind blows free. Water falls over a mountain free. The sun shines free. It's all energy and it's all free. It's just you got to build a machine. Have fun, folks. See you next time. Oh, by the way, anybody that really wants to see videos of me actually building the next two-stage oscillator, let me know and I'll, I'll be putting the videos on as we build it. Hopefully not the boring parts. Bye-bye.